Joined now by the DNC chair, Tom Perez. Tom. Chairman uh, Perez, welcome back to the show. I assume you feel pretty good about last night. We had a good night. It was a victory for ordinary Alabamians who want a senator who's going to vote for, he's going to focus on good jobs, he's going to focus on health care, he's going to focus on the things that matter most to people. And Doug ran a campaign where, you know, it wasn't about right versus left, it was about right versus wrong. And uh, it's wrong for a party to put up a guy like Roy Moore, and it's right for uh, voters to go for a guy like Doug Moore, Doug uh, uh, Jones, because he's right. he's fighting for everybody. Let me ask you this: What's the message now for 2018? I mean, look, Doug Doug Jones, you could make a case that mm -hmm. his basic message was not Roy Moore. Um, you've had some parts of Virginia. I think Ralph Northam had a positive message that was on some issues, but his negative message was, "Hey, I'm not with Trump." Is that enough, or do you need a message that's more than just the Democrats aren't with Donald Trump? No, we need more than uh, we're just the party of anti-Trump, and we've been putting forward uh, that message. In Virginia, we talked about health care, uh, and Ralph Northam, as a doctor, talked about the importance of health care as a right for all and not a privilege for a few. And the overwhelming number one issue for voters coming out of that ballot booth in uh, Virginia was health care. In Oklahoma, we won three special elections this summer in beat red districts. These are state special elections. And the issue there was education. And when we listen to people, and I think that's what Doug Jones did, yeah. he listened. He understood that uh, you know, people want a better life for their children. They don't want this other uh, sideshow that Roy Moore is about. They want a good job. They want to be able to work a full-time job and not have to live uh, in stress. And, and that's why uh, Doug Jones was all about a hashtag uh, kitchen table. He focused on those issues. And when we do that as yeah. Democrats, uh, when we're listening, and then when we organize early, uh, Chuck, and we organize everywhere, uh, that's how we do well. And I think we've been leading with our values in 2017, let, and let, it shows. Let me ask you this. If Senator Doug Jones votes with the Republicans mm -hmm. a little more often than many of the other Democratic senators... Um, that's going to bother some base members of the Democratic Party. What do you tell them um, when they start to see perhaps Doug Jones maybe voting a few, a little more often with the Republicans than, say, Kamala Harris? Well, you know what? Uh, I've known Doug for 20 years, and Doug is the real deal. And Doug's North Star is what is in the best interest of Alabamians. And I have no doubt that there will be times where uh, he will take votes that you uh, won't that, like. Uh, that, you know, I may disagree with. But yeah. you know what? His North Star is what is in the best interest of Alabamians. He's, he's a servant leader. He wants to make sure. He remembers his roots, you know, son of a steel worker. He wants to make sure that people can live a, a decent life. Uh, there's too many people uh, working a full-time job and living in poverty. And, and that's not right in Alabama or anywhere else. And that's what Doug's going to fight for. And uh, I, that independent streak is mm -hmm. something that I... Uh, I, I admire about Doug because uh, he, he's going to put okay. Alabamians first. Let me ask you this. Last month you said you're not talking about impeachment. But you know that a lot of members of the Democratic Party are. You've, uh, you've had a couple of House members mm -hmm. force a vote on it on the House floor. You have Tom Steyer, somebody who big donor to the Democratic causes and also may run for the U.S. Senate. Um, what do you say to progressives? You want to have a message that's not just anti-Trump, which I'm guessing also means it's not just about impeachment. What do you tell those in the Democratic base that says, no, 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 Mr. Chairman, they do want to talk impeachment? What do you say to them? Well, I, I say to them, here's where we agree. Uh, this is the worst president, perhaps, in American history. This, this tax giveaway to wealthy people and very large corporations that uh, don't need it is an abomination. The, uh, the effort to backdoor repeal the Affordable Care Act is unconscionable. The culture of corruption in Washington, like there was in Alabama, uh, is unbecoming the executive branch. There's no doubt about that. Uh, that's why my focus has been on building that infrastructure, uh, Chuck, that allows us to win elections up and down the ticket. That's why we're working to elect people from the school board uh, to the Oval Office, because I think the most effective way uh, to make this uh, current uh, moment in yeah. our history a brief moment is to elect Democrats up and down the ticket. And that's why I'm working my tail off 
to do that. And that's where my focus is. And I'm proud of the work that we've done in 2017, investing yeah. almost a million learn? dollars in Alabama. You know, I had um, a state representative on yesterday on the Democratic side of the aisle in Alabama, Patricia Todd. Um, and she said, to, she said something interesting about this race. She said one of the difficulties was, frankly, the party structure was broken in Alabama. Um, and, and that they're and that, frankly, you could say the National Democratic Party was a bit out of touch in Alabama. What did you learn in Doug Jones's victory that says, OK, this is how the DNC needs to operate in places like in Alabama that isn't necessarily as open to Democratic uh, to base base Democratic sure. policies all the time? Well, uh, you know, the, the reality is uh, we have a lot of work to do to make sure the Democratic Party in Alabama and elsewhere uh, is uh, firing on all cylinders. Uh, th there's, there's no denying that. And, and what we did in Alabama is, uh, I, I think leadership is about humility. It's about understanding that you're part of a team. We were a part of Team Jones. And what we did early on is to say, Doug, how can we be helpful? And as someone who's prosecuted a number of cases down in Alabama, I understand that folks from Washington coming in, uh, guns ablazing, conspicuous, that's not the way to do it. And so we were quiet. We were working with uh, grassroots leaders, yeah. faith leaders, uh, elected yeah. officials locally. But we were unmistakably present, helping them behind the scenes, organizing, doing yeah. the digital work, getting that voter file in order, doing all those important things that are critical to success. Because it's not about me. It's not about the DNC. It's okay. about being a team player. And I'm proud of uh, having been part of Team Jones because he's the real deal. All right. Tom Perez, chairman of the Democratic Party. You, you, you've, you've had to take some lumps this year, but I'm guessing this one, this one makes you feel better. Uh, this worth all the day. earlier lumps that uh, us work and others have given you. All right, sir. <laughs> Thanks for coming on, sharing your views. Appreciate it. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.